We begin today the Gemara, Nandaf Yudzayin, at the Mishnah. Zok, the Heilige Mishnah. Here, this Mishnah seems to be continuing the subject that it spoke about before regarding the difference between a neder and a shvua. So the Mishnah says, Yesh neder, betoich neder. When it comes to a neder, you can have one neder within a neder, meaning you already made one neder and it took effect, and now a second neder will take effect as well. But ve'ein shvua, betoich shvua. But regarding a shvua, that does not work. You can't make one shvua and then another shvua should take effect as well. Ketzat. So how does this play out? What does this mean? Omar hareni nozir. What if a person says, I shall be a nozir? So a nozir is a form of a nether. What happens when a person says, I should be a nozir? He has to be a nozir for 30 days. That's a stam nozir. So the person said, let's, let me read this again. Omar hareni nozir imaychol. He says, I'll be a nozir. If I'll eat this piece of bread, I'll become a nozir. And then he said again, Hareini Nazir imaychol. I shall be a Nazir if I eat the, this piece of bread. Fa'achal, and he ate, so then chayev al kol achas v'achas. The first Naziris will take effect, and the second Naziris will take effect. Okay, so there, there's two pirushim in this Mishnah, what the, how, how this happens, what this means. The Ran says, the Pshat is, that the first Naziris takes effect and he has to keep it for 30 days. And then, when those 30 days are up, he's going to have to keep another Naziris for another 30 days. Why does it say that it's, this is considered to be yesh neder betoich neder if the, one, if the first nazir is, is first and the second nazir is only comes later, so they're not really being chal together. So the Ran says the obligation is chal together. The obligation to keep both of these nazir is chal right now. But the way you actually fulfill it and keep it is first the first 30 days and then the next 30 days. But the Chiddush is that even though right now he's presently a nazir, the second obligation of nazir is could take effect. But there's another pshat in this Mishnah. The Ramban says that when the Mishnah here says that Chayva Kalachas Vachas, it actually means literally Chayva Kalachas Vachas that he's going to have to keep one Aziris. And for that one Aziris, he's going to be Chayiv twice. If he eats, if he does not keep his Naziris, he's going to be Chayiv twice the Isser of Naziris. Like, like it sounds like the Mishnah of Apashtas. Not that he's going to have to keep two separate Naziris, but they both take effect at the same time. And this is a unique Chiddush that you find regarding a neder and the Naziris. An- another difference between these two Purushim and the Mishnah is, according to the Ran's Pshat, this whole thing that the Mishnah said, Yesh neder b'teich neder, it only applies regarding Naziris. Regarding Naziris, where you have the 30 days and another 30 days. But regarding any other neder, if I make a neder on one thing, not to have a no from this object, and then I make that same neder a second time, not to have a no of this object, you don't have two nedarim that are chal on one object. Only by Naziris, because it's two different, th- two different times. But according to the Ramban, by every single nether, if I make a nether not to have a no from this, and I say that a second time, not to have a no from this, the nether will be chal a second time, and I'll be chayav a second time in that. Okay, let's continue. But what's the story with a shvua? Shvua shaloi oichel, a person takes an oath, I will not eat this. And then he says again, shvua shaloi oichel, takes an oath that he will not eat this. Va'ochal. And he ate, went ahead and ate it. Then in a So then he's only going to be chayv once. If you ask it upon yourself something one time, you can't ask yourself a second time. Regarding a shvua, we apply the rule that says ein iser chal al iser. You can't once you are aser to eat something, the iser will not be chal a second time. Regarding a neder, it will be chal a second time on this object, or according to the Ran, regarding the different time periods of the Naziris, but not regarding a shvua. By a shvua, I say, ein iser chal al iser. Okay, so over here, there's the Gemara, but before we go learn the Gemara, there is a few lines of the Gemara that does not appear in our Gemara, but it's in the Ran, and the, the Ran brings another Gerse, that there's a few lines missing in our Gemara, and it addresses a simple, obvious question of the Gemara. So I think we should learn it. Take a look in the Ran, right at the beginning of the Gemara, <coughs> the second wide line. So, according to this Girsa, the Gemara asks, Kiv in the Nazir, if the person said, I shall be a Nazir, have a Nazir, he becomes a Nazir. So, the Gemara is asking a question Why does the Mishnah give the example of a person that says, I will be a Nazir if I eat this piece of bread? Why, why is it adding this point, if I eat a piece of bread? Why doesn't it just say, The person said, I'll be a Nazir? And then he said a second time, I'll be a Nazir. That's it. It's one question. Another question is, okay, even if the Mishnah says that the person said he'll be a Nazir if, if he eats the piece of bread, but the question is, what happens if the person only said that once? I will be a Nazir if I eat this. 
And then, the Ochal Tuve, so then he ate from that piece, of, uh, that piece of bread, a loaf of bread, he ate a lot of it. In other words, he ate one Kezayis, so he just, he just uh, ate, so he becomes a Nazir. And then, he ate a second time, so he should become a Nazir a second time. So the, the Gemara is asking, Vechi Ochal Tuve, if he ate more than once, Umasrimbe, and every time he ate from it, he got a warning. The first time he ate from it, he was warned. Look, if you ate from it, you just became a Nazir. And then he eats a second time, and, 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 and now he gets a warning for the second time as well. He becomes a Nazir. So, he should be chayev, a separate Nazirus for each time that he ate. This is the second question the Gemara is asking. The question here is, why do you have to say that he said twice, if I eat this loaf of bread, then I'll become a Nazir. If I eat this, then I become, if I eat something else, I become a Nazir. Even if he just said one time, if I eat, I become a Nazir. So if he ate one kezayis, he'll become a nazir once. If he ate a second kezayis, even if he didn't repeat again, but if he ate a second kezayis, he should become a nazir again. Just like if a person makes a, a nether that he should not eat. When he eats the first kezayis, he's over on his nether once. He eats the second kezayis, he's over on his nether a second time. The same thing over here, when the person makes this condition, as long as he got a warning in between, so it separates one achila from the other, he ate it once, he becomes a nazir once. He ate it again, he becomes a nazir a second time. So the Gemara answers, <coughs> you're right, the Mishnah did not have to say what it said. When the Mishnah said that he said twice, Hareini Nazir, if I eat this, Hareini Nazir, if I eat this, it's not necessary to say that. But, I did the Ktani Shvua Shaloyoycho, because in the Sefer, when it speaks about the case of the Shvua, the only way to explain two, two Shvuas, one Shvua, then another Shvua, there the case is that he said, a Shvua that I shall not eat this, a Shvua that I shall not eat this, so Taninami in the Reisha, well, as well it says, Hareini Nazir in Meichel, he says twice, I, I'll be a Nazir if I eat this. But Gabi Nazir, Regarding a Nazir, it's not necessary to add that detail in Meichel, if I would eat it, even if you would just simply say Hareini Nazir twice, he would become a Nazir twice, or even if he would say once, Hareini Nazir im Eichel, and he eats it, and then he eats another kasais, another kasais. Each time he's going to eat, he's going to become a Nazir again. So it wasn't necessary for the mission to say this. It's just using this language regarding the Nazir because of what it says in the Sefer regarding the Shvuah. You have to be Masim. You have to? You have to let him know that he's. Yeah, that's right. That's a Chiddush of here. You have to give him the Asra in between in order for the Naziris to be Chal a second time. Okay, now let's go back inside the Gemara. Talk to Gemara Amar Avhone. Avhone said regarding the Mishnah here. So it says that these two Naziris could take effect. Loishanu, this was not learned. Ella the Omar, this is only if he said, Hareni Nazir Ayayin. He said, I will be a Nazir today. And then he said, Hareni Nazir Lamachar. And then he said, I'll be a Naziris starting from tomorrow. So what happens? So as I mentioned before, anytime you accept Naziris, a Naziris lasts 30 days. So if you're starting Naziris today, so that's 30 days. And then if you're starting your Naziris tomorrow, it's going to last one additional day. So therefore we say, because you, when you said your second Naziris, so this added now a second day, so chayla Naziris al Naziris. That's the reason why the second Naziris takes effect, because you actually added something here. You added a second day. So because that added day took effect, so now the whole entire second Naziris takes effect. If the person says, I shall be a Nazir today, and he says a second time, I shall be a Nazir today. So when he said it the second time, he's not adding any time to his Naziris. Ain chala Naziris on Naziris. In such a case, the second Naziris does not take effect on the first Naziris. Shmuel Omar, Shmuel disagrees. Shmuel says, Afila Omar, Hareni Naza Ayayim, Hareni Naza Ayayim. Even if the person says, once I'll be a Nazir today, second time I'll be a Nazir today, the second Naziris is not adding any time to his Naziris. Chala Naziris Alei. The Naziris, the second Naziris takes effect on the first Naziris. This is a Chiddush regarding a Nazir and regarding a Nether, that one Naziris could take effect on the other Naziris even without adding any time later. Okay, so that's the, the Machleik is here in the Pshad of the Mishnah. So the Gemara is going to ask a bunch of questions on Rav Huna's opinion. Frek the Gemara, Ula Rav Huna, so now according to the Rav Huna. Ah, the Tone, when the Mishnah comes here and makes a distinction and says, Ein Shvue Betoich Shvue, that regarding Nezirus, one Nezirus could take effect on the other. But regarding a Shvue, it will not. Why does it have to say that? Listen, let the Mishnah make a distinction regarding Nezirus itself. It could say, yes, neder betoich neder, that even regarding a neder itself, 
There is a case where one nether will take effect on another nether. And the ein nether betoich nether. There is also a case where one nether will not take effect on another nether. When is that? Hareini nazar ayoyim, hareini nazar lamachar. If a person says that I should be a nazar starting from today, then he says I'll be a nazar starting from tomorrow, then yesh nether betoich nether. Because he added a day, so then the second naziris will take effect. But if he says hareini nazar ayoyim, hareini nazar ayoyim, but if he repeats the second time the exact same as the first time that the naziris is starting today, so then ein nether betoich nether. So then the second Naziris will not take effect. Exactly like Ravona said. So why did the, does the Mishnah have to go to a Shvuah and make a distinction between a Nadar and a Shvuah if the Mishnah could have said a bigger Chiddush and make this distinction regarding the Naziris itself? So Kashia, this remains a question. Okay, so that's one question the Gemara asked in Ravona and the Gemara does not give an answer. Now the Gemara has another question based on the Diak of the Seif of the Mishnah regarding Shvuah. Tanan, what does the Mishnah say? Yes, neder betoich neder. Regarding a neder, one neder can take effect on another neder. But for ein shvua betoich shvua, one shvua will not take effect on a second shvua. So hechi dami. According to Rav Huna, how are you going to explain now this Mishnah? Ileime, if you're going to say the case is like Rav Huna said. The first Naziris he accepted upon himself, he said is, I'm going to be a Nazir starting today. The second one he said is, I'll be a Nazir starting from tomorrow. If that's the case of the Reisha of the Mishnah, so then the Chvosoga Bishvua, similar, you would have to say regarding the case where the person made one Shvua and then a second Shvua, what, is, what is, it, the, is it that he said? It's going to have to mean, he said first, He makes a Shvua that I will not eat figs. And the Chaz of Omar, and then he makes a second shvua, shvua shaloi oichal anavim. He makes a shvua that I will not eat uh, grapes. So it's two separate shvuas. Because if we're comparing it to the Naziris, just like by the Naziris, what happens over here? According to Rav Huna, the first Naziris starts today, the second Naziris starts tomorrow. So what happens? So we say that these two Naziris are separate. One Naziris is the first 30 days, the second Naziris is going to be another 30 days. These two th- sets of 30 days have nothing to do with each other. So that's why each one takes effect separately. If so, says the Gemara, in the Sefer where the person made a Shavuah, it, sh- it should be similar to what the Reisha was speaking about. You're, you're making a distinction between them. So it has to be in, the, in a similar case. And what you're saying is, even when a person says that I'm not going to eat figs, and then he makes a Shavuah that he's not going to eat grapes, it takes effect regarding different items. And it's still, you're telling me that the second Shavuah will not take effect. But why not? Why should the second Shavuah not take effect on the first Shavuah? The first Shavuah was regarding figs, and the second Shavuah was regarding dates. Yeah? What's the, you have a question? The first Shavuah was regarding figs, and the second one was regarding dates. Not, not, not dates, sorry, no, regarding uh, grapes, that is, yeah. Correct. Grapes. So, so as one is on two different things. Correct. So it's two different shuas. It's not chal one on the other. And a chanami, that's exactly the Gemara's question. So why is the Mishnah saying that the shvu will not be chal? Just like regarding the naziris, you have the naziris of the this first set of the saying, thirty days what, what the and the second saying? set of the thirty days. So so the way the way that Ran explains the Gemara, what the Gemara is thinking at this point is that just like by the naziris, what Rav Huna is saying is that because the person added a day, so what we say is that these two Naziris take effect on two sets of different 30 days. So what the Gemara is looking at is at the result of the Naziris. Where is this Naziris going to be fulfilled by this person? This Naziris is going to be, f- the first one is going to be fulfilled in the first set of 30 days. And the second Naziris, because there was another day, it's going to be fulfilled now in another set of 30 days. So if you look at the fulfillment of the Naziris, these two sets of 30 days have nothing to do with each other. If so, applying that to the two cases of a Shavuah, he made one Shavuah and another Shavuah, a similar case by a Shavuah would be also that he said one Shavuah on figs and another Shavuah on, on grapes. And, they have, and, and they're being fulfilled in different items that have nothing to do with each other. So why shouldn't it take effect? That's the Shiloh of the Gemara, the way Duran explains it. Okay, so the Gemara says, second, uh, where am I over here inside? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 it's a continuation of the Gemara. That's the Gemara. Ella says the Gemara. So, what are we going to have to say? What's the case? That one Shvua will not take effect on another Shvua. You'll have to say the case is. He said the first time, I'm not going to eat figs. The second Shvua is regarding the same item that he's not going to eat the figs. So because it's the same shvuah, it does not take effect. 
So if so, going back to the ratio of the Mishnah, I should say the same thing. The Chvasa Gabi Naziris. So by the Naziris, when he took the two Naziris upon himself, what's the case? Hey Chidami, the Oma Hareni Nozer Hayoyim, Hareni Nozer Hayoyim. That he said the first Naziris, that I'm starting my Naziris today. And when he said that the second Naziris, he's also starting his Naziris today. And still, the Vikatani, the Mishnah is saying, Yesh Nedeh Betoich Nedeh, that the second Naziris takes effect after the first Nedeh, after the first Naziris. So Kashi Ravuna, so this is a question on Ravuna that says that in the case where you accepted the second Naziris after the first Naziris, and it's both Hayoim, both today, in the same time period, that it does not take effect. Huh? <clears throat> no, according, according to Rav Huna, according to Rav Huna, it will not take effect. But the question is, from the Mishnah I see, that it should take effect. Because if you compare to the case of Shvua that it says in the Sefer, that over there you have to say that it's talking about both Shvu's war on the same item. And that's why it does not take effect in the ratio when it says regarding Naziris that it does take effect. It's, it's talking about Naziris on the same time period and it does not take, and the Mishnah is saying that it does take effect. Amalach Ravone, so Ravone will answer you and say that no, Masnisin the Omar, Hareni Nazar Yoy, Mareni Nazar Lamacha. Really, the Pshat that he said is true. In the Reisha, he said, I'll be a Nazar today. And then the next Shvuah, or the next Naziris, rather, he said is, and now I take a second Naziris upon myself, which will start from tomorrow. Now, the Chvasa Gabi Shvuah, what would be a similar case regarding Shvuah? Not what we said before. Not what we said before that one Shvuah was on figs. And the second shvur was in grapes. Rather, the similar shvur would be the Omar Shloi Oichel Te'enim. His first shvur is that I will not eat figs. And the Chaza the Omar Shvur Shloi Oichel Te'enim Ve'anovim. The second shvur is, he said, I'm not going to eat figs and grapes together. Not, not, in other words, not, not that he's making a shvur. The way that Ron explains this is the second shvur is not that I will not eat figs separately and I will not eat grapes separately. I don't know. The second shvur was, I will not eat grapes and figs together. That was the second shvua. The loy chayla, and over there it will not take effect. Why is this the similar case to the ratio of the mission of Naziris? So the reason why it's similar is very simple, because just like in the ratio of the Mishnah, when the person took the first Naziris, so it's the first set of 30 days, now the second Naziris is not really the way he accepted it upon himself. He didn't accept upon himself to begin a Naziris after those 30 days are over. He took upon himself to start the Naziris tomorrow which would mean just one day off of the first Naziris. So the first Naziris would end at the 30th day, and the second Naziris would end at the 31st day. That's the way he accepted it upon himself. So there's 29 overlapping days. Right? So the same thing also regarding the Shvua, when he made the second Shvua, the second Shvua is not on a completely different item than the first Shvua. He made one Shvua on the figs, and the second Shvua is overlapping on that. It's also on figs, but he then added to that, he said, not only figs, but figs together with grapes. So if you look at the way he's accepting the Naziris upon himself, and you look at the way he's accepting the Shvua upon himself, this is the case by Shvua that would be similar. And therefore, the Chiddush over here is, what the Mishnah is saying is, that by Naziris, when you accept a second Naziris, which overlaps the first Naziris, but there's a certain addition, at least one day that you're adding, it takes effect. By a shvua, when you take upon yourself a second shvua and it's overlapping the first shvua, even if you're going to add another item to that shvua, it will not take effect. That was the chiddush of our mishnah. So the gemara asks on this, but is this true? Vahamar Rabbe, Rabbe said regarding this exact case, shvua shalayechol tein. Person makes a shvua not to eat figs. Vachasa vahamar shvua shalayechol teinim ve'anovim. Then he makes a shvua, a second shvua, which is not to eat both together, the figs and the grapes. Va'achal te'enim, and he went and ate te'enim, so he was over on his shvua. And now the hifrish carbon, he has to bring a carbon for this. If he ate it b'shoigik, so he has to bring a carbon. And then v'chazar v'achal anovim, and now he went and he ate grapes. Havyuluhu anovim chatzishir. So the anovim, the grapes, in in itself is just a half a shear. Ve'ein mevi'en carbon al chatzishir, and therefore you don't bring a carbon for a half a shear. The second neder or the second shvua rather. The second shvua that this person made, he did not make a shvua on the grapes itself. He made the shvua on the grapes together with the figs. But there is no shvua itself with the, with the grapes. So just like the shvua cannot take effect on the figs, because the figs, he already made a shvua before, a second shvua will not take effect, it will not take effect on the grapes separately either. Because the grapes is not a shvua for itself. He wanted to make a shvua putting the grapes and the figs together. And the problem is, the, regarding the figs, he already has a shvua. 
So the grapes is considered to be a chatsi shir. You're trying to make a ha- only half of Yeshua could take effect. The other half of Yeshua cannot take effect because you already have a previous Yeshua that took effect regarding the figs. So therefore, what is Rabbi saying? The entire second Shavua will not take effect. Alma, we see what Rabbi is saying here is, In a case where a person says, A Shavua I will not eat figs. And then he says a second Shavua, that he will not eat figs and grapes together. So the second Shavua, oh, sorry, 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 I said, I said the wrong shot of here in this Gemara. Ay, 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 I'm going to have to correct this. Okay, so, so what Rab over here is saying is that because the Shavuah took effect on the figs, on the grapes that is, the Shavuah will take effect on the figs. Okay, other Rabbah. Okay, the point, the point that Rab is saying over here is that because he's adding something to the second Shavuah and the Shavuah is taking effect regarding the grapes, it will take effect regarding the figs. The first shvu is only on figs, so it takes effect on the figs. When he says the second shvu and he puts together the figs and the grapes, so now because there's an added part to the shvu, so the shvu could take effect regarding the grapes. And once it takes effect regarding the grapes, it will also take effect regarding the figs. It's a saka chatsi shir, but it will take effect. But uh, what Rabbi was saying was, once he brings a carbon for the figs, for the first time that he ate the figs, he's not going to be able to bring a carbon the second time for being over on the second shvua when he said not to eat the figs and the grapes together because the figs itself is only a half a shear. So when he ate those figs, was he over one shvua or two shvua? Just one shvua, just the first shvua. The first shvua was on the figs alone. So if he ate the figs, he's going to have to bring a carbon on that. Is he going to have to bring a second carbon for a second shvua? No, because regarding the second shvua, the figs is only a half a shear because the second shvua was the figs and the grapes together and he did not eat the figs and the grapes together. But what, what's the point though? We see, we see from Rabbi, what Rabbi is saying is when he makes the second shvua of figs and grapes together, the second shvua will take effect on both the figs and the grapes together. Elamai, the figs, then the second shvua is considered to be a chatsi shear. According to Rav Huna, however, in such a case, when the person made the first shvua on the figs and the second shvua on the figs and the grapes together, because it can't be chal on the figs a second time, because he already made a shvua on the figs, the shvua the second time will not be chal, not on the figs and not on the grapes. It won't, won't be chal on, e- on either of them. So this is a question on Rav Huna. Um, yeah, the Gemara is asking a question on Rav from Rav Huna, which is interesting because Rav is just an Amayr and that the Gemara Taka answers and that Rav Hone Rav Hone does not hold of what Rav has said and there's a Machloikis over here okay so, so this is an interesting Machloikis when you again just to clarify this no, you, you get what's going on over here a person makes a Shvu on figs so that Shvu took effect on the figs now when he makes the second Shvu and he puts figs and grapes together so there's two ways how to look at it. One way how to look at it is you just added a part to the shvua. So since it can take effect on the grapes, it can take effect on the figs as well. Even though the figs was already usher, but the grapes wasn't usher yet, so the, the, the shvua of the grapes will be chal on the figs. Masha Enkein, Rav Hone says that no, that because it can't be chal on the figs, it can't be chal on the grapes either. So therefore the second shvua will not take effect. And then according to Rav Hone, that's actually the chiddush of our Mishnah over here. Okay, let's learn one more question on Rav Huna's opinion. Meisvei, another question on Rav Huna's opinion. Abraisa says, Misha Nazar Shtei Nizirais. A person made and, and it took upon himself Niziris twice. So what do you do? Mona Sarishayna. And then this person that now has an obligation to keep Naziris twice, once for 30 days, again for 30 days. So he counts the first Naziris, the first 30 days. And then the Hifrish carbon. He separates his carbon for that. So he's basically done with his first Naziris. And he already is separated a carbon for it. But then the Nishal Alel. Then he goes to a Chacham and he, he's matter his first Naziris. He undoes his first Naziris. So what happens? Uh, and a Hanami. But you could undo a Naziris even after you're done. And not only that, even after you bring your carbon, you could still undo that Naziris. So what happens? Because now what happens is, what happens is also Lishniya Barishaina. Now the second Naziris that he took upon himself, that he would have had to keep Naziris another 30 days, the first 30 days that he doesn't have to keep anymore for the first Naziris, because that Naziris he undid, so now he can keep the, the second, uh, second Naziris is going to be in that, in that thir- in first 30 days. 
So, yeah, it was Yaitz already. With the second Naziris that he put, took upon himself will be Yaitz with the first Naziris. So the Gemara now explains this question on Avonah. Hey, Chidami, what's the case over here that we have these two Naziris that took effect? If the case over here is, like Rav Huna argued, that this is the only time two Naziris take effect, and that is, First he says, I'm starting my Naziris today, and then he says, my second Naziris should start tomorrow. So if so, how could this Braise say that if you undid your first Naziris, it will be, it will be considered for the second Naziris? How could he say that? Am I also Lishniya, but How should the second Naziris now be kept by the first Naziris that you kept? But there's an extra day. According to Rav Una, the second Naziris starts a day later. So there's an extra day that you still have to keep. Isn't it obvious that what this Braise is saying is, He took upon himself two Naziris, both in the same time, and he said he didn't, he didn't add an extra day. And it, what does it say? That if you undid your first Naziris, the second Naziris will be that. But you have to the Rav Una. If so, this refutes what Rav Una says, that in such a case, the Naziris doesn't take effect. So the Gemara gives two simple answers to this question. First answer is no, we could say Really, like Rafuna said, the only time the two Naziris could take effect is he said one Naziris should begin today and the second Naziris should begin tomorrow. My also when the Braise says this halacha, that if you undid the first Naziris, so now you could count the days of the first Naziris for a second Naziris, what that means is said. 29 of those days, he can count for it, but he's still going to have to count one more day because the way he took upon himself the second Naziris was one additional day that he'll have to count. But, the, but he still gains a lot, he gains 29 days. Inami, <laughs> or the Gemara says another pshat here, Kogoin shekibul shtei Naziris bevasachas. Rav Huna will admit in a case where a person accepts two Naziris together in one statement that over there, you don't have to add a, a new day for the second Naziris in order for it to take effect. In other words, when did Rav Huna say that in order for the second Naziris to take effect, you have to add a day? That is, if you said first, Hareini Nazir. Hayoyim. So now, the second Naziris cannot take effect on that. And you're going to say a second statement. So you're going to have to say, Hareini Nazir, Lemochar. Then there's an add a day, it'll take effect. What if the person says it all together? How does he say it all together? The person said, Hare Alai Shtei Naziris. I think that's the case of Ramos. The Ran says he, he took upon himself together. In one statement. He didn't say two separate things. So then, if you say in one statement, then both Naziris will take effect even if you don't add a separate day afterwards. It's only once the first Naziris took effect, now the second Naziris can't take effect unless you add another day to it. Okay.